Hey everybody, it is Selly. We are on board the Twin Tails Yachts Reef Runner 23 that they just recently listed for sale. And I want to give you guys a quick walkthrough, but before we go too in depth into it, and you guys don't want to watch the whole video and you already know what a Reef Runner is, it is, it's a Reef Runner 23, Sea Keeper 1, and a Merc 300R. This is a really great package, really great boat. Also comes with a tandem axle trailer as well. So let's give you guys a quick walk around on this boat, show you guys what's going on. If you're thinking about getting one, Twin Tails Yachts, Adrian will comment down below. We'll have all the info on you. So let's check it out, guys. Starting off here at the bow, this boat does have the Maxwell windlass with anchor chute right there. We've got our anchor storage right here. This does have the modular forward seating, as you can see here, and it does have the nice seat cushion. And then we've also got this huge storage area right here that's all been finished off. And if we take a peek down in here, you can see it's also set up to be drained. It does have a macerator pump on it to drain it out. So you can use that as a cooler and insulated box, uh, put ice in, put fish in, whatever you want to do you can do that right there. Speaking of the modular seating, we take a look here. There is storage under both of these seats here. You can see it's really, really big. So there's a lot of storage and seating area up here on this boat. Speaking of the seating area, also in front of the helm right here, we do have the forward seating areas. I move this cushion out of the way. You'll see there's cushioned seating right here, and that goes right on up to this three-piece enclosure. Uh, for the console, and you'll also notice we have a really nice polished pipework on our hardtop here. So as we start to make our way back, you'll notice right there on the side, we have the Fusion Signature Series speakers. Those are in both sides, and they are also in the hardtop uh, right over there. So before we go back any further onto this, I wanted to show you guys what's going on in the console. Like I mentioned, this boat does have a sea keeper, so... We've got that all rigged up in here. We have a trio of batteries. So you can see we have our engine battery. We have a pair of house batteries. We have our remote battery switching with relays, uh, all the Merc rigging. Everything's done really nice. Everything's labeled. And if you look up here, it's all ready to go for your choice of electronics. So we have not put electronics on this boat yet because we're leaving that up to the owner to decide what they want. Everybody's got a personal preference when it comes to that kind of stuff, right? So we've got that ability there. Speaking of the electronics, we do have a very wide open helm area here to work with. We've gone ahead, we've centered up the Merc display on this one. So if you just want to run simple, you get your Merc display there, and you can put another display here. Or if you want to do a larger cutout for a bigger display, you have the ability to do that. As I'm sure you've seen on the center consoles only build, we're able to put a, put a pair of 16 inch displays in here. So sky's the limit as far as what you guys want to do. Looking up in here into the overhead area, you'll see that we've got plenty of storage up here as well. So it's nice gasketed and sealed. So we've got that going on. We've got really nice uh, LeBrock seats. As I take a look over here for you guys, you'll see we've got the really nice LeBrock seats with the pop-up bolster there. In this console, we also have the frigid, rigid cooler. Now that frigid, rigid cooler is normally on a pull-out slide. Unfortunately, right now, it is removed because we are getting ready to put aqua traction in. So if you uh, sign up early and get signed in, you can choose any of these color combos right here you see on this and choose your design and all that good stuff with the aqua traction. So that, uh, that's really gonna clean this boat up. You know, I mean, you gotta kind of forgive us, it's a little dirty right now just from being uh, worked on and getting everything done. So some of the other features on board the boat, if you'll notice right here, we do have a uh, fish locker there and another box right there. And then we also have our live well right over here. If we take a look down in here, we've got really nice access to all of our rigging and everything that's going on there. You can see everything's really nice, clean, easy to get to and very well taken care of. And last but not least, the Merc 300R. That's, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of this, guys, this boat is really nicely appointed with the 300R and the Sea Keeper, the three-sided enclosure, the forward seating, the windlass, all of that stuff. So you guys want to know more about it, you're interested, you want to buy it, like I said, it's on a trailer, Twin Tails Yachts, reach out to Adrian, comment uh, down below for 
how to get a hold of them and all that good stuff. But Twin Tails Yachts, Reef Runner 23. You can also see it on Yacht World, I'm sure. Check it out, guys. It's for sale. And uh, yeah, check it out. It's pretty cool.